this is going to be a tutorial video on how to play Mortal Pillow. Um, I was asked through my Tumblr account if I would make a tutorial video, so this is me making a tutorial video on how to play Mortal Pillow. Um, through your apartment, you can get to Mortal Pillow through the games here. And this is Mortal Pillow, how you get into it. Um, you can start playing Mortal Pillow after episode 7. Um, after the episode where you go to uh, Melody's uh, sleepover. Uh, it used to be where you could play as soon as you do that part of the episode where you are done with the interaction with all the MCL uh, female characters in the Slumber Party, but I think now that you actually have to make it to episode 8 to be able to play Mortal Pillow. You can get through it this way here. Um, as you can see, I already have two requests uh, pending right now. Um, or you can actually go through your read your email um, here. Uh, I don't have it on the video screen, but you can go through your email here. Uh, this here was a PM that I was uh, notified that I had a pillow, a mortal pillow request pending. So you can always click it here through this message, and right here it says um, that it, that someone has challenged me to more pill, and I could click here to get to it as well. So either way, you can get to it. Um, so what you do is um, to start a fight, you go to start a fight here, and you have your attacks. This is the ones that you are going to be giving to the person that's going to be receiving your request. And this is on how you defend yourself. So you could just do any random attacks you want, or if you like to just see what other people are doing, their attacks. I, when I used to play Mortal Pill all the time, I used to find patterns that people would do with certain ways they would have their defenses and their attacks, and that I would often uh, do the opposite so that I would get more points doing it this way. And once you have the way you want it, then you go launch dual here. This will take you back to where you were. Um, so launch here. And you can see that a new one has popped up waiting. This person is going to either accept or deny the request that you sent. And it keeps getting longer the more you send out and you can see um, how many you've actually sent. So, oops, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that you have to wait 30 seconds in between the time you can send a request. So that does make it a little frustrating. I had totally forgot about that. It's been a while since I've played. Um, anyway, so that they'll keep going and so you can tell which ones are waiting for you to accept by here, accept, and ones that are waiting. Um, this one here I have ready to go. This person has sent uh, a request to play and I, again, haven't been paying attention so I'm just putting in some random amount. So, okay, and then you go launch dual and then you can see how you play up against the person. When you're accepting a duel, you are always going to be the one um, in the green. But when you are sending out a duel, what they're seeing is yourself in the strawberry outfit. So it's always the opposite. So that's kind of interesting. And you can get five points total. If you are the winner, you get an additional five points for winning the game. Um, if you are able to block all of their attacks and are able to hit every single time, which would be a perfect score, score, you'll get an additional extra 10 points with it, so your total score would be actually 15. Um, so, well, she, see, um, though here's the winner, she won. Uh, she gets an, ad an additional five points and I only got three. So you can go back. 
and we'll see how I did. I've played a couple of them already this week. I usually try to accept all the ones I get because a lot of times you, well, not a lot of times, but there are some times people actually will send you a request with a money amount on it. And if you're the one actually sending the one with the money amount, and I'll show you that in a minute, that you are betting that the other person will lose against you and you would get that amount plus an additional amount to what you had bid for. Um, let's say the person bid for $10 and $10 would be actually taken out of the amount of money that you have on your board and when that person either accepts or not, if they decide not to accept it, then you'll get that money back with no problem. But if they do accept it and they lose, you will get that $10 back that you had put down plus an additional 10. But if they win, you don't get that money back. Um, but if you're the one accepting the amounts, you don't have to risk anything on it. You either win or lose. If you win, you get money. If you lose, then you don't lose anything. So that's kind of nice. So I usually try to play Mortal Pillow just for in case someone sends me a request for an amount of money. And it will, the amount of money will actually be here. So here's me down here at the bottom. Uh, I've had <laughs> zero wins, zero ties, and only two defeats. I haven't played that much. And here's the total amount of points I've gathered so far this week. Uh, these are the people that will be getting um, money amount. It's not money amount, sorry. Uh, action points. Um, 10 through 4 will get 50 action points. Uh, and third place will get 50 action points. And second place will get 100. And for first place, they'll get 350 action points by the end of the week That when it recycles. Um, since I don't play anymore, when I was playing, it was at my time, it was ending at 3 o'clock on Saturday. Um, one of my friends who is playing, she has told me that for now it's recycling on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time in the USA. So I'll just take her word for it. You'll have to find out for yourself if that is true or not. Um, here, since I haven't played that much, once in a while, ones that you have completed will show up here and you can actually replay them to see how you did in previous ones and also the ones that you send out people that I've accepted um, and this is how I would find out how they are setting up their moves against me so when I send out requests I'll be able to tell the best way to send out the best moves to get as many as many points as possible and you might want to do it some way differently. Um, I found that I often got into a pattern which wasn't always good because people, if they get multiple requests from you, notice that pattern and are able to win against you a lot easier. So again, it's, it's, it's totally up to you. So here I'm going to show you how to start a fight with a bid. Okay, right here is the choose the amount of money that you want to fight. And you can do five bets a day. So. I'll just do a dollar right here and again send out request here and launch. Okay, see and this one here shows up. This is the amount of money and this is the person that has received the request that I send it to. And if you decide that you don't like that idea of sending out a bet, you could always cancel it. So no longer would allow them to accept that request that I had just sent. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Okay, the, uh, the only other thing I can think of for this is oh, one other warning. If you are a really good Mortal Pillow player, like I was, and you win one week where you're in number one place, and the next week you are going to win again. It could cause a little bit of a problem. I was going in into my third week of winning being in first, first place and it has a safety mechanism so that when it does that it causes it not to recycle and makes you play another week. 
So if you win more than twice in a row at the first place, then you will have that issue. Uh, I don't know how many of you would have that problem, but I have came across that a couple of times playing myself. Um, now, if you decide that you don't want to get requests, because sometimes it can really um, fill in your um, PM boxes with the amount of quests that you get, and some people are not into getting that, and other people are, you can actually disable um, how you get your requests. You go to My Account, and um, then you go to your um, Modify Your Account right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Go to edit information. Uh, sorry about that. Um, going into this part of, of the tutorial, I decided to put up this little note pad here in front of it because um, I do not feel comfortable people knowing my name and my other personal information. So that's why that's blocked. Um, anyway, what you could do is go to here. Do not um, do not want to receive or, uh, mortal pillow challenges. What you do is you would just click on that and then you would click on modify here if you wish to not lo no longer accept mortal pillow requests. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much covered everything when it comes to mortal pillow. Um, each week it's it recycles it once a week. Um, and once it recycles, the, um, the amount of action points will be, be set into your account. So you can actually s check that. I often would do a screenshot of just before the time recycled, if I could, just so that I can prove that, yes, I was the winner of that week. Just in case the money, I mean, not money, the action points didn't get into the account. For some reason, I never had that issue, but I was always one of those safe than sorry kinds of people. Anyway, I think I covered everything. If I am missing anything, I am sorry. Uh, again, it's been a good four months since I've actually played Moral Pillow. So I hope this helped you, and I hope you were able to understand what I was saying. So anyway, good luck, and... I hope you're able to win. All right, bye.